Kara Feika is a communication major at Duquesne University and the lead dancer of the Tamburitsan's folk group. To her, the ensemble is literally a family affair. Her sister, Stephanie, also performs with the group, but the connection goes even deeper. My parents were Tamburitsans, that's how they met. And I've been involved with Eastern European folk dancing since the age of three, so I've been doing this for a very long time. It was just the most amazing experience to come at your first show at home and see all of these people cheering for you and crying and laughing. Her mother, Darlene Feka, is the group's director for media and development. We love it so much. We love the traditions. We believe in what it is that the Tambritsons promote. Paul Stafura is the group's performer turned managing director. Our original mission, and still today, is first of all to give deserving students an opportunity to go to a fine school like Duquesne University with scholarship. The second is to perpetuate the cultures of Eastern Europe and its surrounding neighbors. The Tamburitsans perform a variety of authentic Eastern European dances and sing in a dozen languages. We get a lot of help from people, choreographers from the various countries. Including Hungary, Armenia, Slovakia and Croatia. This year the group invited the Bulgarian-born Dimitar Manov as the ensemble's director for dance. He is fascinated by the talent and energy of the group. I love the job. They work very hard. They are very nice people. Foreign students at Duquesne University who join the group also bring their traditions and cultures to the Tamburitsans. I think it's a lot of fun. I, my, my boyfriend is one of the international students. The costumes also reflect regional variety. They are brilliant and colorful, and most of them are original imports from the particular country represented on the stage. Uh, they may not be all handmade by little women <laughs> in the villages like they used to, but uh, we do try to be as accurate in, in our representation of that country's costuming as possible. Paul Stafura says it is a way of life that holds them captive. They do perform 80 concerts all over the United States, so they're traveling every weekend as well as time when, it's, uh, when school is not in session. We do about 40,000 miles on the bus a year. Mr. Stafura says they are the hardest working touring group today in the United States. Finding a balance between their studies and dance is challenging, but it is also rewarding. I live with everybody at school, so it's, um, we're around each other, but it's kind of a, it's a lot less hectic whenever we're at school, because we're not running around and saying, oh, do I have my extra, do I have my makeup, do I have this, and, um, but on stage, it's, uh, it's very exciting and thrilling to be in front of a whole group of people. For many performers, like Amanda Snyder, the Tamburit Sons is their second family. It's really nice for me to know that I have 33 other other brothers and sisters per se that will be here for me. Well, I think myself as well as everyone else in the Tamperesons are cultural ambassadors because um, I think it's very important for us here in America to keep our Eastern European heritage alive. Perhaps the greatest mission in the world today is to promote peace and understanding among peoples and nations of the world. The Tamburitsans hope to contribute to that effort. Miguel Rivera, VOA TV.